What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Roblox video. Today we are going to be playing these new scary stories inside Roblox, you guys. I have not played a scary stories game in months. It's actually been a really long time. I think that the last time that I made a scary stories video was when I did my 2020 scary stories, which I will leave down below for you guys to check out. I believe that this game right here is actually made by the same creator that made all the scary stories that we played in the scary stories 2020. So that's why we're in here today, you guys. Look at this. We got a scary story about great granny. Oh my gosh. Of course we have granny here. Ah, oh, man, I do not miss that face right there. <laughs> Yikes! Make sure you have your volume up for this story. The scare factor is 8 out of 10, so it's gonna be on the upper level of scariness, you guys. And then we have Chucky. Oh my gosh, and this one is a 6 out of 10. Who else do we have here? Okay, we have Slenderman and Slenderina. Nice. And of course, Piggy. You guys, I have never played a scary story with Piggy in it, other than Piggy the game. <laughs> and the scare factor is only a five out of ten, because you know, Piggy's like cute scary. So we're not we're, we're not actually trying to get nightmares of you, Piggy. Okay, you might jump scare us, but we still love you to death. And then we have a VIP one, which I got the VIP so we could check out the Ouija board game. So let's start from the bottom, you guys. Let's go over here to the Great Granny. Okay, kids, it's bedtime. You're staying at Great Granny Joe's tomorrow night. Okay, Mommy. <laughs> Climbs up the ladder. And who is this? Jackson lays down in bed. Okay, so this is the, the girl and the boy's mom. And the mom's saying, hey, we're about to go over to Granny Joe's tomorrow night. That's where you're staying because Mommy has plans, okay? So you're out of the house and you got to go stay with... Ugh. Great Granny Joe. But see, they don't really look too terrified right now, you guys. It's almost like Great Granny Joe is actually normal, and she's not actually creepy granny that we know of. Because look, they're not even scared at all. I mean, she kind of looks worried, but they're just like, all right, whatever, yeah, we're going to Great Granny Joe's. Turns off the light. All right, kids, good night. Good night, Mommy. Okay, so they're going to bed, but little do they know. Tomorrow, they will have a great surprise with Great Granny Joe. Mom is about to leave room. <laughs> Wait, Mommy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was pretty quick. You guys, look how scared he is already. Let's see if the girl's scared. Falling asleep. Okay, so this is Jasmine and Jackson. Got it. And Great Granny Joe. And then Mom. <laughs> what do you need, Jackson? Um, who is Great Granny Joe? <laughs> Wait, didn't he like just say okay when she said we're going to Great Granny Joe's and now he's realizing wait Who the heck is Great Granny Joe? <laughs> Brother, you don't even know who Great Granny Joe is. Okay, the girl's not even doing anything. She's sound asleep You guys she, she's like, okay, we're going to Great Granny Joe's For all we know she could be I don't know granny. Oh my gosh How have you not told them about Great Granny Joe? Like, seriously? They don't even know who she is? Oh! Oh my! Why? Why Why do we have to start this out with a jump scare? Seriously? Oh no! Why did it do it again? No! Stop! The mom remembers the time Great Granny Joe beat her up as a kid? Oh my gosh, you guys! This was the story from the last scary stories that we played. That's why you guys should go watch that video before this one. If you haven't already, it will be down below in the description box. Check it out because this was a granny scary story that we played last time because I recognize the girl and great granny Joe. Oh my gosh. The mom remembers the time great granny Joe beat her up as a kid. So maybe the mom was just kind of telling the kids, hey, we're going to Great Granny Joe's because that's what she remembers back when she was a kid, even though there is no Great Granny Joe to her kids, if that makes any sense. Is that the end of the story? Okay. Oh, we're still going. Oh my gosh, I thought it was over. Uh, I'm sorry, Jackson. I gotta go to bed now. Okay, so it looks like she just had like a scary flashback memory when they jump scared us. <laughs> when they jump scared me two times. The first time was really bad. Jackson. Uh, okay, good night, mommy. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her. She's terrified. She's gonna have nightmares. No more jump scares, please. 
Jackson closes his eyes and starts to fall asleep. Okay, so they're sleeping now, you guys. Uh-oh, Granny enters the room. No, Jackson! Jasmine, wake up! Wake up! Oh my gosh, Granny's gonna hit you with the bat. Uh, hi, Granny. Um, I must say your teeth are looking extra beautiful these days. You must really be flossing twice a day, huh? Yeah, I can see that. Granny thinks in her mind, I'm going to destroy these kids tomorrow. Oh my gosh, why? Why do you want to do that, great, great Granny Joe? Granny thinks in mind, it's now time for my revenge. Revenge on who? What did the kids ever do to you, man? They're just kids. <laughs> Hello? Oh, that was an evil laugh. Oh my god. That was supposed to be Granny's laugh. You guys look at his look at his face. Is Jasmine awake? Where are you at, Jasmine? Nope, she's still asleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think Jackson's about to get beat with that bat in a second here. Oh no. Granny, listen to me, kiddo. If you are going to scream one bit, you will be done. Jackson is scared as everything. Oh man, is Jasmine still asleep? No, she's awake. Oh, she's just waking up. You guys, she's like, what the heck? Oh gosh, I hear footsteps. Granny, you know what? Your family will now suffer. Jackson screams. Oh my gosh, what happened to Jasmine? Oh, she's she's hiding under the pillow. <laughs> she's so dope. Oh! Stop! Why do they have to put jump scare? Oh! Please, leave me alone with the jump scares. Jackson, no! Granny, how could you? Oh my gosh, she beat him to death. What? He's covered in blood. Why? Oh my goodness. Mom, please, why would you ruin my life once again? Ha ha ha, the power is mine. Jasmine is next. Oh my gosh, and he's still got his eyes open. What the heck? Because you were late. I don't like when people are late. So you're telling me you you killed Jackson because I was late when I was his age? Oh my gosh. Yes, that is exactly. I cannot believe this. Oh my gosh. Steals the bat. You guys, Jasmine's stealing the bat. Yes, Jasmine, take that bat and hit up. Oh, just thonked Granny right on the head. Wax Granny. Ah! <laughs> Jasmine! <laughs> Sweetie, you saved me in the next generations from Great Granny. Jasmine, I'm glad we're safe, Mommy. Oh my gosh. But yeah, but look at Jackson. <laughs> what do you mean you're safe? Jackson just said they're covered in blood. Are you just gonna <laughs> look at Granny? Oh my gosh, R.I.P. Granny and R.I.P. Jackson, you guys. Oh, but look, there's a police officer here. You were arrested for the killing of Jackson and Great Granny. Okay, first off, how the heck did this dude get in their house, let alone get called by who? Who would have called the police? <laughs> oh, so she's almost like being framed for the murder of Great Granny Joe and the killing of Jackson, her son, you guys. This might be, this might have to be continued in a part three, because this is technically part two of the Great Granny Joe story. All right, guys, we're on Chucky doll now. This one's about Chucky. Daddy, can I get a new doll? Yes, sweetheart, go ahead and pick your doll out. Okay, so it looks like we got a girl named Brittany here and her dad, and the dad uh, told her to pick out a doll, but they're all the same. And why would you ever get your kid a Chucky doll? Are you kidding me? I don't want my kid bringing that in my house. <laughs> no way, man. Brittany picks out the doll. Well, of course she's gonna grab that one. She can't reach any other ones. <laughs> She's got to grab the one at the very bottom. I made my decision Dad, okay, let's go pay for it now. Dude. I swear if there's jump scares in this I am NOT going to be happy. Hello. Is this all you are getting? Yes, this is it for today Um, I'm pretty sure that the only thing that this store sells are Chucky dolls What do you mean is this all you're getting? <laughs> is she happy? Oh, yeah, she's so happy that she's getting that creepy Chucky doll. Cashier, your total is $256. Um, I have to ask, why is the doll that expensive? <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Because it comes alive. That's why. 
The doll that you are buying is a rare antique. Oh, all right. Do you still want to get it, Brittany? Yes, daddy. So she still wants the doll, you guys. Oh my gosh. At least he's got his slicked back hair. He's actually, you guys, Chucky's creepier when, when he's got his hair slicked back like that. Thank you for getting me this doll, daddy. You're welcome, Brittany. I'll go make some dinner. Oh my gosh, Chucky. <laughs> Oof, this doll is heavy. Oh my gosh, because it's not even a doll. It's like a real... Oh. Okay, Chucky's evil laugh. Oh yeah, he turns evil in his hair. Okay, you need to stop with the laugh, Chucky. Listen to me. Either you stab your dad or I will stab you. Brittany, what? Do I have to? Oh my gosh, this turns so violent. <laughs> Chucky, you have two minutes. If you don't do it, you are dead. Starts crying and runs. Oh, don't do it, Brittany. Daddy, throw out the doll now. Sweetie, don't be silly. It's just an antique and it was expensive. Let's go see it upstairs. Uh, are you sure you want to do that, dude? I don't think it's going to turn out very good for you. Oh, gosh, there's Chucky. That was not as bad as the granny jump scare. No, Chucky, please. I'll do anything to stay alive. Haha, <laughs> I killed him for you. You are next. No, Chucky, please. I'll do anything to stay alive. Oh, my gosh, Chucky. How could you? Why would you do that? Anything I see? Well, join my clan and we can kill others together or else you will die? What? Are you serious? Um, okay. <laughs> That's it, okay. Warehouse worker, time to get these dolls shipped. Buddy doll. Oh my gosh, you guys, she turned into a doll. What? I did not think that that was gonna happen. Oh my goodness. So she, that's like, th I guess that this is Chucky's clan, you guys. The Buddy the Doll clan. Okay, I guess we just spawned out of the game. Is that what happened? Yes. Okay, so that was actually really, really creepy. That was only a 6 out of 10 on the scare factor, really. I think it was more of like a 10 out of 10 on the violent factor. Jeez. You guys, but Slenderman and Slenderina is up next, and it's a 9 out of 10. I think that this is supposed to be almost the scariest story here, but Ouija board's technically the scariest. So we're going to jump into Slenderman and Slendrina. Mr. Davis. Okay, class, I want you to meet the new student. Andrew says, a new student? <laughs> and this girl's already fallen asleep in class. She's like, I don't care. I don't even want to be here. Okay, so we're in a classroom, and there's going to be a new student. Mr. Davis, yes, come on in. Uh-oh, who's it going to be? Slender. Hi, I'm Slender. I'm excited to come to school. Uh, um, what? <laughs> Whispers to Andrew, ew, why does Slender look like that? Andrew says, I don't know. Ew. <laughs> Ew. So Slender is the new student at school, you guys. But honestly, like, something's really suspicious about the way he's talking. He says, hi, I am Slender. I am excited to come to school. Who would ever say that? When you introduce yourself, you go, hi, I'm excited to come to school <laughs> when you're already at school. Mr. Davis writes on the board. Okay, so they're learning right now. Slender pays attention. So Slender's paying attention to what's going on with uh, Mr. Davis over there on the chalkboard. Diana says, ew, Slender, did you pee your pants? <laughs> Jake laughs. Jake and Diana are, are more of like the class clowns. Although look at them, they got their tongue sticking out. They're like, yeah, they're just both laughing. This whole classroom is full of um, class clowns here. And why the heck did Diana ask, Ew, Slender, did you pee your pants? Bro, did you pee your pants? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> Why would you ask? <gasps> Why would you ask somebody that? Oh, my. We're going to do that. We're going to do the crazy Slender Man noise in my ears. <gasps> oh, my gosh, you guys. No. Actually, you did. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's actually a really good comeback. Yeah, you peed your pants, Diana. What's going on? Come on, let's go now. Oh my gosh, Jake runs out of the room. Look at the teacher. You guys, I don't know if the teacher's scared, but he's looking like he's super chill right now. He's just like, bruh, 
What in the world just happened? Yo, Slender is a G, though. Yeah, that's what you get, Diana. You peed your pants. Oh my gosh, you guys. Slender. Yes, I have infected Diana. Your name is now Slenderina. Slenderina. What do you want me to do, Slender? Oh my gosh, you guys. He infected her. What? Yeah, you peed your pants, Diana. Slender. How do we get those kids? Well, wait, why does he have the fa this face on now? <laughs> oh my gosh. Slenderina, they stay at the campsite every Friday. Let's get them then at 3 a.m. Oh, 3 a.m. That's the witching hour. Oh no, they, you guys, they're camping right now. Jake says, guys, are you sure it's a good idea to do this today? It's fine, chill out, Jake, you're a wuss. Okay, so Jake's all scared, probably because of what happened during the school there with Slender. Alois didn't come tonight for a reason, Andrew. Okay, Jake, shut up. You know what? I'm done with you. So it looks like they lost Alois, if that's how you pronounce her name, and then just Andrew and Jake ended up going. Oh. Okay, that one really got me. I was talking in the middle of it, too. <laughs> Slender and Slendrina, please, I beg you, please, not me. Good job, Slendrina. You got Andrew. Oh my gosh. No, now he's going to get possessed. <gasps> baby Slender. Good luck running away. I now have Baby Slender. Baby Slender. Jake, join us, please. Oh my gosh, you guys, they had a baby. Baby Slender, what? That's crazy, I've never heard of Baby Slender. Alois says, why am I the only student, Mr. Davis? I think everyone is just absent today, Alois. Oh my gosh, you guys, everyone was absent because they all became part of the Slender family. That's crazy. I was not expecting this many jump scares in these stories, you guys. This one was a nine out of ten for sure for the scare factor all right you guys now on to the best part we have piggy oh my gosh a piggy horror story really have you guys been hearing about the legend of piggy preston says no what's that <laughs> what's the legend of piggy tell me right now hey are those butterfly tattoos dang those are kind of cool Piggy wanders around the metro at 3 a.m. every night, and he leaves cash. How much cash does he leave? <laughs> How much cash does he leave? We want to know. We need, we're broke. I heard he leaves 1 million Robux. Oh, we should go then. <laughs> Daisy says, Preston, it's just a legend. It's not real, dude. How do you leave 1 million Robux just sitting on the ground? Robux are not tangible. Unless you have, like... I don't know, like uh, hundreds of thousands of Robux gift cards, I guess. <laughs> Preston says, I still want to go. Daisy, just because it's a legend doesn't mean that it's not true. Daisy says, well, you do you, I guess. All right, Daisy, if you're not going to tag along, then you're going to be a scaredy cat. Then I guess these guys are. Here's the plan. We go to the Metro at 2.30 a.m. and we break in at 3. Deal? Deal. Deal. Okay, so now Daisy is actually on board, you guys. <gasps> They're at the Metro. Oh, no. Roxy. All right, guys, keep quiet. You stay here while I grab the loot. Daisy says, I'm a little uneasy, but I'll try my best. <laughs> Wait, she was the one saying it was a legend, and this dude's chilling. This dude's super tough, because he's the one going out there all brave and stuff, grabbing the Robux. <gasps> Please don't jump scare me. I'm begging you, Peggy. Crossing my fingers. Do not jump scare me, please. Nope, no jump scare. Five minutes later. When will Roxy be back? I'm not sure. It normally takes like 10 minutes, I think. <laughs> 10 minutes to go get the Robux. It's been a while, Preston. It's fine. She's probably taking her time. Maybe she can't find the money. Ah, Piggy could have hit it around the place. You never know. The Metro is pretty big. I'm going back. I don't care what you say. Daisy, no! Uh-oh, you guys. Oh, no! It's Piggy. That's Piggy? Oh, man. At least there weren't any noises. Ha, ha, ha. Preston, give me all your money or you die. Oh, my gosh. Wait. 
Preston. Oh, she just killed Daisy. What? So what happened to, to Roxy? Preston says, tell me where Roxy is first. Oh my gosh, Piggy, how could you? That's kind of a goofy looking Piggy, isn't it? Look how big her nose is. Oh my gosh, Piggy, please. I'm sorry. I wasn't making fun of you, Piggy. Please don't haunt my nightmares tonight. Roxy is dead. Ha <laughs> ha. Now give me the money. Here, this is all I have. Wait, this looks like actual cash though. That's not even Robux, Piggy. Come on. Officer, you are arrested for the murder of Roxy and Daisy. It wasn't me, it was Piggy. <laughs> Piggy frame Preston, you guys. That's terrible. Oh my gosh, Piggy, how could you? How could you how could you murder Roxy and uh, whoever the other dude was. I don't even remember his name. Like, it was two seconds ago, and I already forget what his name is. And then Preston got framed for the murders. All right, you guys. Last but not least, we have the Ouija board. This is a scare factor of 10 out of 10. So if you guys are ready for this, you better buckle up because it's about to get super spooky. Sasha, look what I found in the attic. Is that a Ouija board? Ooh, that's kind of sick. Wait, what, what was her name? So we have Sasha, Tanner, and Taylor. And then we don't know who he is until he he talks. I think that that's... Oh, they're dating. Okay, so that's Taylor's boyfriend. Sasha says, yes, it's a Ouija board. Oh, his name's Tristan. Wait, they all have names that start with a T except for Sasha. Um, Sasha, I don't think that this is a good idea. Oh, man. So Tristan is kind of the scaredy cat here. Oh, Tristan, don't be a baby now. Oh, my gosh. Look at her. She's sticking her tongue out. <laughs> yeah, don't be a baby, dude. Even his, look, even, uh, even his girlfriend was sticking her tongue out. He's like, yeah, you're a baby. Tristan, fine, let's play. Okay, so they're all going to play the Ouija board, you guys. Have you guys ever played a Ouija board? Comment down below if you've if you've ever played a Ouija board. All right, I'll go first. All right, you guys. So she Sasha's gonna go first. Spirits, are you here? The Ouija board says yes. Oh my gosh. Tanner says, Spirits, would you ever kill someone in this room? The Ouija board says yes. What does Tristan say? Tanner, why would you say that? <laughs> Seriously though, like, what the heck, dude? Tanner, you're uh, you're pretty crazy, man. Tristan, I just wanted to know. And then Tristan says, who will die in this room first? And the Ouija board says, Tristan. Oh my gosh. His girlfriend looks kind of worried, you guys. Oh no. Oh no. Tristan says, I could care less. I don't believe this anyways. No, Tristan, don't, no, you're gonna die. <laughs> so Tristan doesn't believe in it, you guys, but we, 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 as soon as we walk through this door, he might be dead. Nope, he's still alive. <laughs> Tristan, when will Tristan die? No, Taylor, I don't wanna know. The Ouija board says, later tonight. Oh my gosh, later tonight. Tristan, this can't be. Guys, are you dumb? This is just fake. Okay, so they're not believing it, you guys. Wait, where are her eyeballs? Does she have eyes? Her eyes are missing! Oh no! How will Tristan die? From the spirits. Goodbye. Oh no, now their eyes turn blue all of a sudden. Now you got baby blue eyes? Because you're scared? <laughs> Tristan, I'm going home. See you guys tomorrow. Tristan, I'm sorry. Okay, this is actually kind of freaky. I'm not gonna lie, the scare factor is getting close to a 10 out of 10. It's like an 8.5 right now, you guys. Oh, jeez. Do you think that Tristan is going to die tomorrow, guys? <laughs> I hope he doesn't, but he probably will. What? <laughs> oh, who says that? <laughs> I hope that he doesn't, but he probably will. I'm scared, but but why am I believing this? Oh my gosh, Tristan, I'm sorry, dude, because the Ouija board said so. Mom, what's the matter? Nothing, Mom, it's fine. I'm going to bed now. So his mom's all concerned about him. Oh, okay, good night, son. Good night. And <laughs> look at him just crying, his mom just said, oh! What the heck was that, seriously? 
Oh my gosh, why do you do these jump scares? I don't even know what that face was. Tristan's mom says, Tristan, oh my god, he killed himself. No, he didn't. The spirits did. Are you serious? Poor Tristan. Don't ever play a Ouija board, you guys. <laughs> Tanner says, we shouldn't have done that. Tristan passed away. I just got a call from his mom. What? This was like sad factor 10 out of 10. The jump scare was a scare factor 10 out of 10. But that was more of like a sad story. Oh my goodness, man. So we had Great Granny, Chucky Doll, Slenderman and Slendrina, Piggy, and Ouija Board. You guys, let me know down in the comment section below which one out of these five scary stories were your favorite. I want to know. I think mine would be a tie between Slenderman and the piggy scary story. I thought that the Slender Man was really cool. And of course, I love Piggy. So those are my two favorite. Wow, you guys, another scary stories in Roblox. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to smack the like button, subscribe for more gameplay, and ring that post notification bell down below. That way you guys never miss a single upload every single day for me. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this scary stories in Roblox. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.